and applying undue pressure. So in this video, which is part two, I'm gonna continue the list of 11 manipulation tactics the ego uses. If you wanna watch the first part before you watch this one, you can click the I card or the link in the description. Just make sure you come back over here when you're done. Thank you. If you're new, my name is Nikki. I've been spiritually awakened for 16 years now, self-realized for over a decade as well. I have a website called heretowakeup.com and I'm here to be of service to kind-hearted souls, the body of Christ, the real ones, the genuine, authentic, loving beings that are here to heal and progress. Okay, so continuing on from part one, number six on the list of manipulation tactics is withholding and this is about you know denying and depriving yourself or others of various things and it could be anything like money affection attention um, you know specific information that someone might need for something and they're trying to do or anything really that somebody might need that might help them in some way you know or even just denying communication like altogether, which is, you know, the silent treatment. Number seven is being overwhelming, which of course is the opposite of withholding. And basically this is just about, you know, doing too much and applying undue pressure. And so this is about bombarding someone with, you know, information, requests, whatever it is, so that they just become overwhelmed and they just acquiesce and, you know, give in to whatever is being demanded of them. And there are many different examples of this that I can go into later. But one, you know, really quick example in the area of dating and romantic relationships, for example, is love bombing. Number eight is playing the victim or martyr. And so this is just about being a Debbie Downer or whatever the male equivalent to that is. And if you know what that is, let me know down in the comments. Basically, um, this is just about, you know, pretending to be a victim you know, constantly crying about things that you did and things that you sacrificed. I did this, and I did this, and I did this. When nobody asked them to do anything, like who asked you to do that? Whatever the situation, it's really all just a ploy to receive pity and sympathy, which is usually just all about getting attention. Okay, now before I continue on with the list, I just want to remind you to always remember that it's the ego in the mind that's doing the manipulating. It's not really the person or the people that seem to be involved. It's beyond them. It's bigger than them, so to speak. You know, now we seem like we're in the 3D, so that's usually where I'm talking from, but that's not really the truth the capital T truth of things. The truth is that the manipulative tactics are in the mind, the ego mind. They're a part of how the ego operates. And it's the mindset that's being laid out and being, you know, shown to you through different scenarios and through certain characters. They're playing it out for you and they're showing you what the ego is. And the reason why it's so important to remember this is because it will help you tremendously on your forgiveness and healing journey 